Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tandi Gama and if it's your first time tuning in, thank you so much for joining me. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back TG gang. So this is a long awaited requested video by many of you that have watched my Greece vlogs. So many of the questions were in regards to visa application, how I booked my Greece trip, the costs and what's needed when applying for the visa. So I'm going to be going through most of the questions right now. And firstly, I'm just going to start with the backstory of my Greece trip, how I booked it. So I literally decided so let me start off this way. So I discovered the travel company that I booked with on Instagram after watching Alfie's story. So I'll leave his um, Instagram handle here. He had gone on a trip to Zanzibar and it looked so nice. And at the time I was interested in going to Zanzibar. So I was wondering who booked the trip for him. So I followed their page. Then I discovered that they had a lot of upcoming international trips that then sort of like drew my attention. So the first trip that I inquired wasn't actually Greece. So I booked for a different trip. Then a few days later after booking my Greece trip, I see on their stories, they post that there's availability for anyone wanting to go to Greece because in my initial head, I thought because it's so close, to the date that there wasn't a uh, space or availability anymore and i wasn't sure if i had enough time to sort of like get my visa on time so i just inquired with them and they had space and they said um they would assist me in getting an appointment for my visa application so i then made payment i would say about three weeks before leaving for Greece, three close to four weeks before I left for my Greece trip. So it was a sort of like spare of the moment thing, even though I know Greece was uh, one of my trips that I wanted to go to this year, I actually didn't realize it was gonna be that soon. I literally just said, I looked at my stories and I screamed um, to my sister, I shouted, I'm like, I think I wanna go to Greece. And she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so after inquiring and paying my deposit then i think a few days later they were able to assist me with a date and that's when you guys saw the vlog where i was frantically rushing to go to my visa application so for the visa the visa cost me 2210 rand and it does take approximately 15 working um working days so if you are applying for a visa to greece please do note that between uh, your trip let's say your flight and your application you should leave room for them to get back to you with your with your approval because i remember going there and someone was trying to travel to greece a week later and they did inform this person that they had to change their flight booking because the visa was not going to be approved by then okay and they didn't have an option to sort of like fast track your visa i do know that with a lot of visa places this is an option but with the greece one it wasn't an option and that might have been because they had also just recently reopened uh so yeah the things that you will need for your visa application is a valid pa uh, passport, so at least three months. You will need a copy of your passport. And then if you have any previous Schengen visas, obviously in your old passports, you will take that with you. You will need three, um, you will need ID photos that have been taken not older than three months. And when you go to take your photos, you specifically have to specify that these photos are for a Greece application because they are taken differently. Um, so that's something that the travel agency made me aware to state that these photos are for Greece. They will also ask you what country you're applying for when you do take your photos, hopefully. And then obviously you get an application form that you also have to take with you. 
then you will need a confirmation of your round trip ticket airline ticket your full itinerary of your entire stay exactly what it is you're going to be doing you will need a copy of your travel insurance policy so i simply went online onto hippo.com and then i compared and i bought one that cost me 600 rand so that's another thing to note of um travel insurance obviously if you have medical aid you can also request that from them but if you don't you can just simply buy it on hippo.com um you will also need proof of your accommodation for the entire stay basically where you're going to be staying you will also need proof of sufficient funds for the duration of the stay so this does differ from country to country so i think for Greece, I think you have to have about 35,000 Rand in your account and the they will request three months bank statements. You can't print them online like you would do on your online banking app. You have to go within the bank, have it printed there and have the bank stamp it for you there. It needs to have the ink stamp guys i know we get the electronic stamps they do not accept those ones you need to go straight into the bank if you are employed you will need to have a letter from your employer employer if you are self-employed then you will need to have proof of company registration so for me because i am an influencer i registered myself like years ago before i started doing this thing so i used my company registration as proof of employment if you're a business traveler you will need an invitation letter obviously yeah so you basically just need to have those few things that i mentioned there is nothing after that i just had to double check and make sure that there wasn't anything um in terms of my trip and what the trip cost the cost of the trip from the travel uh, travel agency which is called yellow hat travels was 26,500 so what does this include it uh, it includes a return trip from Johannesburg so if you are elsewhere in the country you will need to ask them to include in your quote a local flight to get you to the Johannesburg airport um so if you are from Johannesburg, it does include a return flight from Johannesburg. You also get your airport transfers to your hotels. And the day you leave, you do get a um, transfer back to the airport for when you're returning to South Africa. During my stay, we had two nights in Athens, three nights in Mykonos, three nights in Santorini. This did not include the tax that you will have to pay when you leave the hotel. So the tax is separate. So in Athens, I think it was 50 cents a night tax and then also in Mykonos it was 50 cents a night and then in Santorini that was three euros a night so if it's three nights then obviously it'll be like nine euros in total and the other place would be like one euro and 50 cents that you would have to pay yourself it also includes breakfast daily with obviously the hotels that you would be staying at would make breakfast and then it includes a day tour of Athens city so it's like the hop on hop off bus that you would all be accustomed to like in Cape Town or here in Johannesburg you also get a uh, entrance fee into the Acro Acropolis so if you're into like you know ancient history then <laughs> that might be your type of vibe it also includes the ferry trips because from uh, Athens to get to Santorini and Mykonos you are most likely going to use ferries to go back and from it also does include beach club in a beach club entry fee in Mykonos it also includes a beach hopping cruise in Santorini uh, that was amazing beautiful so you go from beach to beach you get to swim if you want to um, and then obviously there's a whole entire meal on the cruise that's included and drinks um, throughout 
the time there i do think you can also bring your own drinks on the um, on the cruise if you wanted to and this also includes the personal host so the personal hosts are the ones that who have who ensure that everything is ready for you guys um, in terms of cab drivers getting to you on time and taking you to the venues planning out the sort of like activities basically if you the host is just there to ensure that you are enjoying your holiday your job is to be present and be ready when it's time to have the activities and you know just have fun and mingle with everyone and then um one other thing that people wanted to know was how much did it cost me in terms of food and drinks and everything else um that i was doing in in in, in greece so in terms of food i will say that alcohol is very expensive um like drinks i mean in athens drinks would cost like cocktails would cost like nine euro and then when we went to the islands it was extremely expensive like cocktails would cost like 20 euros 17 euros so if you're not someone that drinks alcohol your bill might be slightly lower than mine so for my entire trip i spent plus minus eight thousand five hundred on food and drinks so that is my lunch and my dinner um like i mentioned drinks are expensive so half my bowl was on drinks and the other half was on food so it was also totally dependent on what sort of uh, person you are there are many restaurants to pick from like um what i would suggest if you're in a place like mykonos or santorini what they did suggest is that we don't go to especially no the in mykonos they did suggest we don't go to the restaurants that are right by the water because those are expensive everyone is sitting there for that view because it's called little venice so if you do have food at some of the restaurants that are within the mykonos market then it is kind of like cheaper so a, a trick is to go to different restaurants look at the menus compare before picking one especially since you know we are all traveling together and we're all trying to accommodate one another um you will like sort of like compare and i wasn't trying to overspend because tomorrow is another day and but we did have evenings where we said today we're gonna splurge and eat uh, at a great restaurant so another thing is i did go on a group trip people wanted to know whether i went on a group trip or was this a private like solo trip it wasn't a solo trip it was a group trip with two other individuals um initially there was meant to be four other people but unfortunately like their stuff wasn't ready on time so they could not travel they did arrive a day after we left so sadly we didn't get to meet them but then they got to do everything we did as well so when you do go on a drip, uh, group trip, it is totally dependent on how many people book at the time. So the number can vary. You can end up being a group of 12 or 14 people. And the price that I mentioned was for sharing. So the 26,500 is if you are sharing a room with someone else. Should you want to have your own room, then they would then send you a separate quote. It will be slightly, not slightly, it will be higher. It will be higher for you to have your own room. Um, I think the difference was about 10,000 Rand. So it would have been like 36,000 Rand to have your my own room. And in my defense, I have still so I still have so much traveling to do this year so I was like I don't want to waste that money and on top of that I love people so I didn't mind sharing I didn't mind the concept of sharing uh so I was just like you know what we will just do the shared thing like and I got so um I made friends like Zim became a really good friend to me like um it wasn't a difficult thing but if you know you struggle being in a space with people then definitely ask for um a single room especially if you can only handle people for su such a uh, certain amount of time and you know that you know what after activities i just want to be by myself then gladly inquire about a single you know room just for you 
all right and then i'm gonna get into the questions now based on what other people ask me things that i probably didn't think of on here so i did run like a poll on instagram where i asked people to ask me questions and i'm gonna go through them now is it safe for a solo trip based on my experience there I do think Greece can be considered a place that is safe for a solo trip and also I did sort of like do a little bit of research and I watched a lot of uh, vlogs and there was a lot of uh, women that had gone there on solo trips but I do suggest that you do your research based on what you're trying to understand like the places that you're trying to go to um, you know just google a little bit and you know like the, the internet shares a lot of information um, even if you do put it on there on youtube like people would have shared their thoughts so definitely check that out how long was the visa application did you apply for a schengen visa so i did mention that it did take a little longer than two weeks for my visa to be approved and then it was like it wasn't a full schengen visa that covers different countries it was only for greece and i applied this price was for a single entry by the way so if you want to apply for a multiple multiple entry that will probably be a different price what is the average cost per day on food and activities i would roughly say the average cost on food per day uh, would be about 50 euros if you are taking into account your lunch and dinner activities um so we didn't pay for certain like the certain activities that we did were included in our package so i didn't have to stress too much about that that would be included if you wanted to do something separate on your like off day so in between the trip i think there's like one day where you get to do whatever you want to do and also some days when like the activities are for half the day and half the day is yours you can sort of like google the things that you want to do and find out what the price is before you actually go there so besides the activities that i did i felt that was enough for me i didn't even like try to do anything else besides the one day that i I spent the whole day walking and we got lost so i actually didn't use my full um off day in making us to good use like i got so tired and i slept but yeah you are looking at about 50 euros a day depending on what sort of restaurants you like if you are considering buying street food um and spending less there is a possibility that you could spend less in a day you could probably only spend about um 30 euros if you sort of like watched your budget so there is a possibility to spend less than 50. was it worth traveling through an agency or would it be best to book and create your own itinerary so guys i decided to go through the travel agency because i had actually already been looking at costs in greece and doing the trip by myself did come out really costly it came out more than this with accommodation and flights and everything and the amount of time and the things that i wanted to do it was gonna cost me about yeah over thirty thousand rand like high like in the high amounts so and that was just accommodation and activities not even including food yet so i think it turned out better through the travel agency so i was happy i saved a lot of money i was happy and i I, I had an amazing trip i have memories so for me obviously i still have a few trips booked with them as well um so if you're trying to know like understand if it's their great travel agency it was my first time meeting them and i absolutely love them they were a couple and just their vibe and um, ambience like i mean they are in their 40s but like they're so youthful i didn't even realize i was talking to people that age like most of the time it felt like i was talking to someone my age so um they were really nice and you know like when you wanted to do your own thing they literally gave you all your freedom and stuff like that and another thing that you should understand is that the travel agency does offer 
other packages you can also inquire for a solo trip for yourself you can inquire for a couple's trip you can also inquire for a group trip that is just mainly you and your friends without the host and they like they would literally just plan out the itinerary for you find you your hotels and flights and you and a group of your friends could go there so you also have those options the only reason like i chose to go with the group trip is because i wanted to go to greece and <laughs> my friends weren't available so i was like you know what i am going i'm i'm not gonna put off traveling anymore i am just gonna figure it out there so someone wants to know how much did i spend for the entire trip so for the entire trip when i calculate everything it's about thirty-seven thousand eight hundred. or if we round it off we can say i spent thirty-eight thousand rand on this trip which was worth my while good money spent and um, if you ask me would I do it again yes because I loved every single moment um, so yeah that is how much that trip cost me so if you are planning to go to Greece um, just maybe have 40k set aside because I don't know what else you intend to do or how much you intend to drink or how much you t intend to eat um, so yeah I'd roughly say 40,000 rand how easy is it to walk around uh, walks or Ubers. So in Athens, there is a vast majority of taxis that you can find. And obviously it's not an, they don't have Uber. It's still that old system. Like, yeah, when you go into a taxi, you negotiate a fare, they'll tell you a fare, but you can negotiate the fare and they'll tell, take you wherever you're going. In Santorini, one thing I love is that there's also buses. There's buses. The buses were much cheaper than actually taking a taxi. So places like Santorini and Mykonos, you could um opt for the bus so i would suggest that do you need a covid boost or they allow single shots as well so you don't need to have your booster you just need to be vaccinated especially if you don't want to have to take a covid test because i didn't have to take a covid test going and coming back so you need to be vaccinated how was the weather the weather was extremely hot so when i checked the weather report and when i checked online if uh, May was a good time. They're like, it's a good time. It's not extremely hot and guys you saw me complain so many times on the vlog I was showering twice a day if not three times. That's how hot it was. I was always like I always felt like oh my gosh like literally the sun I was so tan when I came back my sister couldn't even believe it I was so so tan so it is extremely it was extremely hot when I went I'm not sure what the weather is like now but I think it's still going to be hot for the next coming months it's hotter than um, the heat that I experienced here so it was a bit odd but it is extremely hot um someone did ask is it baby friendly although I did see a lot of kids it's not like friendly in the way like the area is like there for kids to play um especially even like the restaurants like everything is so close together like tables and everything i feel like it is very much just like a destination for fun so if you are going with your kids it might be a little bit tricky um because also it does get extremely full you guys may not have seen it in the content but greece was extremely full with tourists it was insane like there was people everywhere so having um kids unless you're booking um to stay like mostly in the hotel it might be frustrating for kids i know kids easily get frustrated or you might get frustrated with them like you know wanting certain things wanting to eat because a lot of the places also after your cat like a cab can only get you so far like going to find places to eat you have to walk through those streets there's no cabs that go like especially if you're in santorini and in mykonos you cannot like get to the restaurant with the cab you have to walk and the walk might be a 15 minute walk or 20 minute walk so that's something you need to take into consideration and with the fact that it is like on a slope like Mykonos and Santorini is on a slope so things like prams are not easy to maneuver um, so that might just be a trip you wanted to do with just your husband and not your kids I think it, it's more of like a romantic getaway and also it's a fun place to go with friends so 
in terms of family like if your kids are much older can walk by themselves uh won't complain after a distance then i would say definitely um a lot of people are asking what is what my experience with people there i mean obviously there's a few like people just like in this country that will give you like you know that little side eye but a lot of the people were extremely friendly um i was treated so nice and obviously they understand that you're a tourist you know like they were always friendly they had so many questions you know they were always like you know friendly way they trying to get to know you not like they just like um there's a friendly way people are just like putting up with you and then there's the friendly of like okay they really do care about the fact that you're here and you're here to have a good time so the people there weren't nice i just had one weird encounter in athens but besides that everywhere else the people were amazing absolutely loved all of them and i am like keeping greece as one of those countries that i do definitely go back to sometime in the near future now for the last question that i got a lot is are the men in greece cute um well if you do like a little vanilla um then i probably will say they are and there's a lot of um tourists that's the thing so a bulk of the people there are tourists so like you will see people and they're from america and they're from um uk or wherever so it was full of tourists so i would say yes there's a lot of good good looking men based on everything that i saw but a bulk of them were tourists even their own men look good you know they make an effort to smell nice you know grooming everything so yes they do like ladies they do look good um so if you were considering greece as one of your places to travel to or if you weren't considering it then i would definitely say that you should definitely add this to the top of your list i absolutely loved every single moment there um i i'm actually looking forward to like going back later in the near future and yeah so i hope i did get to answer every single person's questions somehow if i didn't answer your question or you have a specific question that you would like me to answer please comment down below in the comment section and i will definitely get back to you um so all i'm gonna say is thank you so much for tuning in and i do hope that this is helpful and that you have fun on your next trip to greece so till my next video much love